Man, life was, was hard for me in a Mexican prison. As an American, they saw me as a traitor. Every day was pretty much survival of the fittest. And I give a lot of credit to my friend uh, Ricardo. He protected me a lot. I, I love him to death. He's, he's my best friend to this day. And, and today we're, we're home and safe, all because God protected us. What you need to know to survive Mexican prison as an American. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing. I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right. I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone. I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron the Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Soon tell us suburban, because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron the Strong. You know what time it is. It is all in his name, all in his glory. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross for me. Thank you. Because of him, I have a new heart today. Yes. I wanted to release a couple of videos as we get closer to the uh, show that's going to be airing on the National Geographic channel, Locked Up Abroad. Just telling the story of my time in the Mexican prison. Pretty much what you need to know to survive as an American if you land in a Mexican prison. Pray that you don't. But if you were like me, a hard-headed kid, yeah. Mexican prisons are overcrowded. 90% overcrowded. 46% of prisoners share their cell with at least five inmates. 13% with more than 15 inmates. And that pretty much means that the less money you have, the more crowded your space is gonna be, yes. The lack of food, water, hygiene, and healthcare, you need money to survive. Or you better be good at building, hustling, washing. There's, there's, there'll be a lot of things that you can hustle, but money is, is really big. You know, just like in most countries, if you try to escape, you get more time added onto your sentence. Not in Mexico. The law in Mexico says that people have a right to attempt or escape from prison. The law notes that all citizens have a desire to be free, so people cannot be punished for attempting to escape from jail. That being said, <laughs> can the guards kill you if you are attempting to escape? Because by law, you can try to escape, right? Yes, they can. The rules permit the officer to use deadly force to prevent the escape, and it's justified as self-defense and defense of the people not in prison. Laws are different. It's just a, it's a different country, different laws. There is no life sentence like there is here in the US and Mexico. 
And what I mean about that is that in Mexican Supreme Court, it states that all inmates sentenced to life or longer term, such as let's just say 300 years, must become eligible for parole after 50 years. So eventually you'll get out. And I get this one all the time. As a American, if I commit a crime in Mexico, will that be on my record in the US? Yes. <laughs> I was charged with international drug smuggling. <laughs> yes, Mexico, US, Canada, and about, I wanna say about 100, last time I checked, 191 countries currently share criminal data. It's when that law came in, Interpol, the International Criminal Police Organization, big word. <laughs> if you are arrested in Mexico and, it's, and, and you're an American, ask the authorities to notify the U.S. Embassy immediately, fast, pronto. When an American is arrested in Mexico, it can be very difficult to understand how the courts work. It's just a different world. Language, customs, the legal system is not the same. The U.S. Embassy is obligated to provide help. Attorneys that speak English, contact your family, even visit you. They bring you books to read, vitamins. They are there to help you. So I was, like I was talking about earlier, the Locked Up Abroad show is gonna be airing October 5th at 7 p.m. I think it airs until 10 p.m. on some uh, areas, but for Mountainside, it's gonna be 7 p.m. But it's just my story of the years that I spent in the Mexican prison and, and how just everything, my whole story, how it all turned out. I, I made a lot of bad choices, a lot of mistakes, and it cost me a lot of time. You know, there, there's many reasons why inmates find God while in prison because I, I get asked a lot well they're like you you have it backwards JC you found God out here why didn't you find him in, in prison <sighs> to tell you the truth it really doesn't matter in or out yes a lot of prisoners find him inside look for him but most things are easy if we're gonna be real, most things are easy to do without test. It's easy to follow laws and guidelines when they're set in stone and you really don't have a choice. The real test, I always say, is when you walk into the world with all the sin and all the temptation. That's where the real test is at. Yes, I found him out here with all the tests, but to tell you the truth, I did not find him. He found me. He was always right there next to me. It's time to change, man. One of the biggest reasons why I share my testimony, my story, is for guys like me. Honestly, I was hopeless. I thought that my life was gonna be Chaos. I thought that it was normal to be in and out of prison. I thought it was normal to be addicted to drugs. I thought it was normal to be addicted to women, sex, porno. <laughs> Even the way that I spoke. Today, I see this new creation that God is, is working in me and through me. And sometimes I'm taken back. I, I can't even explain it. And I don't try. I really don't. I really don't try. People try to ask me to explain it, to explain it to them. But you can't explain something that's so far from this little mind to comprehend. God is great. And he can change you, me, he can change anybody. You just have to have a little bit of faith. Hey, my name's JC. I am wrong strong. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him and stay out of prison. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.